it is 11.27 and I'm going to prepare some carrot hot dogs. Never done it before, so it just says to fry them until they're actually cooked and to do it in their own juices. So I've had the bag done. I'm just saying, um, it is a Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, yeah it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday this time. Cheers. Cheers this time. I'm just going to prepare yesterday. them. And I don't know if they're going to taste like actual hot dogs. I have no idea because it's them. So these are in the bag. Okay. They should have put in all the juice because um, I kind of pricked them quite a bit as well. I don't think the ends are going to be quite as done as I'd like them to be. So I need to defrost my buns. But I have my tablets, got myself a drink. No added sugar, don't worry. It's no added sugar. Relax. So yeah, I thought I'd try these out because I've always heard about these and I've never thought to try them out. So I thought, I might as well try them out. I had all the ingredients, I was like, Let's try my, so I'm going to defrost my buns in, in a bit. I'm just going to basically gonna spray some, gonna spray my pan with a bit of fry light, just because I want the fry lighty thing on there. And then when it's hot enough, I'm going to uh, basically put the carrot in with its juices and make sure they're like really good. So we're going to see what the bag smells like. It does smell a little bit hot doggy, but not much. So yeah, it does smell like hot, hot dogs, but not that much. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a George Foreman, but I don't wanna do it in there because I know it would just drain everything out. So I'm gonna do it in a pan. I'm gonna grab a spoon as well. I think I'm gonna put one in at a time. So I'm gonna put this one in first. And then put some of the juice, this juice, on top. Like, put some of the juice on top. It looks okay. I want to say it looks good. Because I know it doesn't, but you know, it's going to look as well as I do it. I'm gonna let this cook in a frying pan with some of this juices. It does feel very like fork tender. It's very soft. It's been sitting on in the marinade all the time. So I'm gonna rank up the heat well. You won't hear me? But I'm hot dog it does resemble a hot dog but I'm gonna taste it now it reminds me of a dog but I probably boil them for a little bit longer I see what they're trying to get with the concept, but I don't know. Inside, it just does. It just looks like a carrot. That remind me of a dog. But that being said, it's not bad. It's not as bad as people make out to be. It's not. It's not good, but it's not bad. Some people make this out to be like, oh, this is just gross, but I would, if I boiled them a little bit softer, like, you know, like, if I boiled them until they were really soft, like, um, like, I think they need to be the consistency of when they're really done. They're shaped, but they're just really soft inside, but it's not bad. It's not bad, I'll give you that, it's not bad, but 
I think I should do them a little more than this. Okay, so that one, and that tastes like a carrot, sort of. This one, yes, I know it's very orange in it. It tastes more like a hot dog. I think the 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 less thick your carrots are, the better hot dogs they will become. If you have very thick carrots, like they're chunk carrots, they won't be as good for hot dogs. But I say round about a medium thickness is what you want from a carrot. So pick, make sure you pick out carrots that are medium to thin. But it's, and when you do cook them, make sure you cook them like separate. Don't cook them together, cook them separate. Then look at the middle. Down. You can tell it's a carrot, can't you? When you deep, when you pan these or grill these, yeah. make sure you grill them and pan them for about 30 minutes until you think they're done, like, until you, you, they're coated like this. See like that. And there you go, carrot hot dog. I never thought I'd have one of these, and never thought I'd get the courage to make one, but. Yeah, they're good. I've got one missing that I'm not eating a carrot by hand. But they're good. If you want to try the outro out, I got the recipe on Peta, P E T A. Just check it out on that one. Or you can search on YouTube for them, or you can search online from them. They're everywhere. But yeah, I call this a success. If I had a, my carrot was a little thinner, it would taste would resemble more like a hot dog because it would be. Cooked really well. But yeah, I like it. So, me and Daniel, I had my cat hot dogs as you saw. Daniel had jam with toast. Uh, yeah. Oh, making mince, he's now making mince pies, which is, you know, really good. Where's some mince meat in and have them for later. And then he's on after his sister's gonna make pancakes and then he goes. But the place will be a mess. Now I need to edit my video from yesterday because I need to be up by today. So yeah, and I played Grand Theft Auto as well. But I did find my little monkey, the little PG Tip monkey. Look at him. He's like, yeah, I'm a little PG Tip monkey. PG Tip. He's got his robe on, and he's there, and it's got PG Tips on its bum. So yeah, he's a PG Tips back. He looks really cute. So we just. Hangs out on the on the side there. Just hangs out on the side. So yeah, it's not that good. It's really gloomy today. It's just really gloomy and not very good. It is bright, but uh, tomorrow I need to put tomorrow. I need to. Uh, lots going to be happening because I need for my video. Then I need to go to my mum's for dinner. And yeah, then Thursday I have to do some shopping. Have uh, got a phone call from the doctor. Yeah. Like I'm in now. I was like, oh, it's got four doors. That'd make a good getaway car. So you know what I did? I hooked it up to the tow truck and drove off with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so guys, we have just come out from a walk and dance right there. Hey guys. Why don't you sit forward? He's right there. Now they can see you. So guys, Dan's playing um, Grand Theft Auto. I'm gonna go with Mac. Hopefully get my vlog up today if it doesn't get up today you can't see me so i'm a bit blurry so yeah um tonight me and dan are playing the hobbit which is going to be good which is going to be good dan's playing gta and i've just got my daily stop and you know got some stuff as well Ugh. So I'm just putting stuff away, popping on my mat, ooh, on. Um, I haven't had dinner and I'm not really hungry for dinner at the minute, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not actually hungry. But tomorrow would probably be a productive day. My favourite new lip balm, which is going to be in my October favourites. 
is a really good lip balm. I mean, Zoella don't ha uh, Zoella in a normal range don't think has a lip balm, but Tanya Burr does, and this is the Tanya Burr. Sweetie, how's this for a getaway location? Cool. Yeah, it's so there it is. It's the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Sweet Lime Pie, eight grams. I need to get another one of this because I'm literally going to start hitting pan on a minute. But I just wore my Zoella beanie out. I love this so much. I'm just going to put it on for you guys. Because I absolutely love this beanie. And. Let me just roll it up. Because. I like to roll it up. So. And it has Zoella on the side. Which I think is really cute. I do have the mug as well to go with it. So guys. I am going to bed now. I'm going to end the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Please give it a like. Subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. Night.